So now that we've talked about the reports, let's talk a little bit about configuration. So setup is really ultimately uh, a technician's responsibility when they start the system. Um, we don't encourage you folks to go in and make programming changes. You should, you should rely on the technicians to do that. They're trained, they're certified to do that. If you decide that you're going to do that, you take the, the, the responsibility if there's an error in the system that ultimately that you may be responsible for. So real quick, automatic events. This is something that we put together in the, in the 4XX platform. And this allows us to be, be able to set up specific tasks. So for instance, this is a print task. I have it set up for you know 6 p.m. for current inventory to the printer on the TLS. And then I have it set up also for weekly for inventory history. And you simply just add a new print task. You can go to, if you have a network printer established, you can select that as well. So again, I'll go shift inventory. I'll do it on a time event and I'll say I want it daily. So now at midnight every day, I will get a shift inventory report showing me what's going on from a report perspective. When we were doing the, when we we're talking about the administration section, the address book is important. You should always add folks that you're going to want information sent to. So for instance, this could be going to Joe and, you know, Joe at Veter.com. So now Joe's going to be in my address book. So now I can assign alarm conditions, email functionality to Joe and Joe will get notified of those issues. A task log is just showing you the tasks that, that occurred and then auto transmit tasks is functionality we use for serial commands that the majority of folks don't use today. So moving on, we'll talk a little bit about devices. The device side of it is basically anything that's connected from a product perspective. So our probes, our sensors, our wiring systems, this is where they actually configure the system and actually program the, the, the probe itself. So that they're gonna enable it, they're gonna tell us where it's located in the system, they're gonna give it a name, and then these are some specifics on the floats and the probe type itself. So just the just FYI, that's all it is. The one I want to show you is inventory. This is important. So inventory, the report times, this is what I was talking about earlier, where it records it. You should come in here or have the technician set it up. So at least it sets it up for once every 24 hours, 720 records, and at a specific time, it will now generate that report and record it. So great tool to have, great functionality to have as well. Um, you know, so, so keep that in the back of your mind while, while you're... Uh, while you're looking at your programming functionality for your system.